today's video I will be showing you guys how to peek, when to peek, how to quick peek, when to peek, when not to peek, scenarios like that. Let's get into the video. Now, when approaching gunfights as a defender to a, an attacker, you have to have different area. mindsets. Now, what I mean by this is simply when you approach a gunfight as a defender, you have to understand that you do not have to go for another kill after killing one. Now, as an attacker, you should go for more picks than just one because you have to make the play as an attacker, especially solo queues. I understand a lot of my viewers are solo queue players and not five-man players because they can't find stacks. So, with that being said, go join my Discord. The link is in bio. I make... I, I think I, I go in there every day and I post to like a few things, a few questions, stuff like that. You guys, go tune in. Go, go join the Discord. You know, you may find a stack Got in there, right? Seconds. Anyways, point is, I will show you a position now Five as a defender, account. and then I'll show you as an attacker in a few seconds. Now, if there's an attacker here, and an attacker here, and I am in 90, right? There's no one on my window rappel. I crack, crack the glass. Do that, by the way. If you ever play 90, you can do that. You can hear them when they repel, and they're on the window quicker. It's a very, very good idea. Anyways, if I'm playing 90, what I like to do here, usually playing 90, this wall will be reinforced, defending aviator, you lay down here so you don't get killed from the window, and hop on 90 cam. Now, let's say they drone you. Yeah, shoot the drone. Cool, boom, shoot the drone. Now, how to quick peek. The real way to quick peek with a controller to mouse, I don't know if you're mouse, if you are, I can't really show you. I can't do it myself. I'll try right now. I'm decent at it on mouse. Now, don't want to crouch here and there, right? I'm okay on it on mouse. Now, on a controller, I'm a lot better at it. Like, a lot, a lot better at it. Um, anyway, so when you do quick peek, my personal experience is quick peeking is for mostly information. Now, obviously, you can quick peek one tap somebody, but it's a lot, lot better to just simply quick peek for information and then pre-fire off that information. Instead of quick peek and go for a one tap, because that guy's probably just gonna spray and kill you. You could just pre fire. Like, don't go for just a one tap, like, shoot one bullet. Because just shooting one bullet's not gonna do as much as shooting, you know, ten bullets, right? Anyways, the point is this is I'm, not, I'm, I'm intentionally missing here. I'm not trying to hit the alibi clone. I'm just trying to show you guys the whole reason of quick peeking. It's for information. Quickly, he won't kill you, right? You could back off, you make a decision. You could run back if you want, right? You go play this default shield if there's a shield here. You don't have to play off an angle like like this. You don't have to hold this the whole round. Because if they drone you and they prepare you, you're dead. Don't just hold an angle like this. This is one of the major misconceptions is people holding angles is good. Yes, certain angles. Angles like these are obvious. Now, never play in a position like this because any good stack will drone this and there will probably be a guy in wolf or top red already. As you run, you'll get killed. Or if you try to swing, you'll probably die. Someone will swing one, one two, or three in different angles and you will probably die against good people. So playing in this corner is not good, one, because you only have one way out. You always want to position yourself in a, in an area where you can escape back as a defender because there's levels of roaming. 90 roam is kind of like lurking around site. That's what lurking is. I'm lurking around the site. It's the best way of roaming. Honestly, deep roaming is okay if you know how to do it correctly. I'm, I'm going to make a completely separate video on how to roam, like deep roam. This is more or less just how to quick peek and peek, obviously, but... Quick peeking for information is a lot better than for the kill because you will most likely get smoked if you play against anybody good, right? Now, obviously, understanding the maps left. is very important as well. Now, I'll show you guys as an attacker on how to actually quick peek and take peeks and take gunfights because taking a gunfight on a defense is stupid. You'd rather just fall back and play time. The round ends as a defender, you win. That's pretty simple. The round ends as an attacker, if the plant's down, you win. That's why attacking is so important compared to defending. Right now, obviously, defending and attacking are completely different. A lot of people don't understand that, but attacking, you have to attack. You have to make, you have to be aggressive. Defending, you don't have to. You can play passive, you can play back. A lot of people think nowadays, it's super heavy frag meta, go for kills, which is fine. If you play with a teammate and you go for frags, that's cool. But understand, most of you are solo queuers. Understanding that sight is more important than holding 90. If you have to give it up, give it up. If you can't, then you can't. Take your gunfight if you have to. If there's a guy in your 90 window and you're in 90, try to escape and evade as quickly as possible. Now, if you can't, take a gunfight. A lot of people think you have to evade every single time. No, you can just take a gunfight if you are confident in your aim and you swing 90, right? You swing 90 like so. 
you swing 90, they're confident in your aim, right? I'm on mouse just to show you guys that I never play mouse. But if you're confident as an attacker, right? Let's see, I'm attacking. Obviously, I'm frost. Went 1.5 slight purely to show you guys that, you know, I'm actually attacking. When you do quick peek, okay? Right? As an attacker. It's for information, although you have to act on information. So droning 90 and then going, oh, 90 is clear. Have a teammate hold that drone and enter as an attacker. As a defender, you're holding 90 camera. You don't have to enter top red if it's clear. That's the difference between attacking and defending. You have to play aggressive if you were attacking. You can play passive if you were defending. Attacking, sitting on a rooftop is not how you play siege. Stop baiting on rooftops. That's the number one thing I see a lot of low rank players do for kills. They think their KD is 1.6 because they're good. It's actually because you're sitting on a rooftop and you're playing against impatient players. That's why. Anyways, further ado. If you are attacking 90 and it's clear, have a teammate hop on that cam. Take 90, right? This, you, this can go on any map. Any single map. If something is clear, have a teammate take it or have a guy sitting on your cam and take it, right? Or someone drone you in, take it. If you're solo queue, you just send your own drone. Drone forward... That's a rule when attacking. When you drone two rooms ahead, take that first room, then drone another room, then take that room, and so on and so forth. Because the time that someone could just sprint in and take that position that you just droned, very likely to happen. Timing sucks. How to not die by timing is simply to counteract the timing by droning the next room. Drone into Aviator, drone top main. If that's clear, take 90. Then you drone further into study, stuff like that. Boom. That's how you play Siege. That's how you actually attack. Now. This is about peeking and quick peeking, but I'm extending into other stuff that is very important in order to be good at the game. Now, when you are quick peeking, you have to understand that you can get ghosted if you just hold an angle. So, quick peek and then go back to safety. Quick peek, go back to safety if no one's there. You can just keep doing this, but if you're defending, let's just say, you could just sit on the 90 cam. You don't even have to take information. You don't have to hold an angle for information. You can sit on default cameras. Also, one really quick tip, in the beginning of every round, hop on the outside cameras to figure out what direction the other team is pushing. I can hop on this cam, this cam, and this cam. If the only cam that got shot is this cam, chances are they're going to do some kind of rush over here, or just a full man 90 push. Which tells me that, hey, there's no one on this side, so if I am a defender, defending study at this time, I would rotate 90 or into games, because I know there is no one over here. There's no point of me being here. That's something a lot of people don't do, and I think the second the round starts, you need to hop on cameras, both, all three outside cams on any map, two, one, whatever cam, how many cams there are, check the direction, and then play off of that direction. That's a huge tip I see a lot of people not doing. Now, obviously when you are attacking, understand that the time is important. So let's say I have to play an aviator, and there's 15 seconds left, and there's a 2v1, and we don't know where this guy's at, my teammate just drones, says he's in vault. I have Diffuser, my teammate's standing right here. I would plant here. Default. This is a default plant. Time or, would I plant here? Now, I'd plant here. Although, if my teammates study, I would probably plant right here. Purely because the default rotate is easier for him to hold. And if I'm here, I can stop plant and then die, probably, taking him one. So, if I stop plant after my teammate dies in the study, I can kill the guy instantly understand that timing and planting you don't have to stick every plant um there's actually multiple times where i thought i had to stick a plant i didn't have to um that's a huge misconception as an attacker is you have to stick plants any v1 4v1 3v1 2v1 it's good to get plants 1v1s faking out plants is smart depending on the time a lot of people i have this rule all right i have this rule especially when you are defending actually this is a defensive rule if it is a 4v2 or below Stop playing super aggressive. Secure the area. Keep or, the box protected. full out all aggress. I just played a solo queue Sunday. If you don't watch solo queue Sunday yet, this Sunday, last Sunday, I got sold because my teammates on a 4v1 decided to all run at them. This one guy. But, two of them didn't run. Two people, singular, singularly, ran at one dude, took 1v1, killed him, 1v1 killed him. Then the other two people played it terribly, not hold it a crossfire. You have to hold crossfires if you want to win this game. In Siege, crossfires are important. What a crossfire is, is let's say there is a guy in 90, or bricks, pushing up into this single door. If I'm in vault, I can hold this angle, so it holds the walk-in. Now, my teammate can sit here and play off my death. If I do get killed here, he can stand up and boom, kill him right away. Or, he can play on the bomb, and he's holding his walk-in here, which is good. 
Now, unfortunately, this guy is a good player. And walks in and swings this way, kills him, and kills me. That's the correct way to approach that scenario as an attacker. Although most people will try to take this gunfight first. I'm in this line of sight. The second this guy starts shooting at me, I would get killed by this guy, even if I do kill this fault guy. That's a cross angle. That's literally what that is. It means you're playing with your teammates. That's what you gotta do. Now, what I mean by the 4v2 rule, 4v1 rule, I mean, any v1, 2v1, 3v1, 4v1, play off your teammates as the 4 people, 3 people, 2 people. Reason is, is because you don't know how aggressive your teammates are if you're solo queued. If you have 3 people on your team running at this last dude, and you know where he's at, just run at him too. Um, because the chances of you two people seeing him at the same time is very high, and that should be a free kill for one of you. And honestly, if there's three people on your team holding angles, just hold an angle. Hold a crossfire, like I just showed, if you know where the guy's at. That's a huge thing. Now, when attacking those scenarios in a 4v1, depending on how long there is left, there's two minutes left. Let's say there's a minute 55, like it is right now. As an attacker, you can bait a little bit. That's fine, because baiting is actually a little bit okay if you're the last guy alive for about 30, 30 to 40 seconds. Until about a minute 10, then I'd want to start like actually taking gunfights and taking ones because then you could actually break down the defense and start killing people and getting the round. There's a chance every round is a chance to win a round. Like, you don't like five, even 5v1s five happen, right? The reason they happen isn't because those defenders aren't good, but it's because they make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes when they play this game, and ultimately, the challenge is when you are running at somebody full sprint, right? You're not going to kill them because if I'm on ADS, there's a guy right here on this pillar, I'm dead. If this guy has any aim, although if I am holding an angle, he swings, I can kill him, right? That's the huge tip, man. Keep your gun up at all motherfucking times. At all times. Unless you know there's a guy all the way in Narnia in Kitchen and you're in 90 and it's the last guy. You could sprint, you'll be fine. Now, if this guy's in Kitchen, last call out 10 seconds ago, I'd be ADS now towards that direction because he may walk in the hallway. Now, if he's Kitchen, right? I'd check, face check everything, quick peek with face checking. Check this corner, check this corner, you can knife bait. Someone asked me to make a video about like, when to knife bait, stuff like that. If you know there's a guy in laundry, knife bait here. Don't knife bait here, because you never know if you swung, right? You can knife bait here, and then swing like this. Don't knife bait, and then swing close. It's not gonna work. Knife bait, and then swing like so. Further away you are from somebody, the harder it is for them to hit you. Therefore, use that to your advantage. Now, obviously, this music yeah, is fucking wild. Right All right, anyways, going into attack, utility usage is very important. Five that is why, remaining. in this meta, people aren't even using grenades because there's four operators. with grenades. Four. There's four operators. Time Glaz, Nook, Sledge, Ayana. Those are the four operators with grenades. Glaz and Nook. Nook, we got their vertical grip removed, so it's not very good. Glass is just, it's glass. I mean, it, it can be good. It's an underrated operator, but it's not really fitting in the frag heavy meta. It's kind of a passive operator. Now, Sledge is at one speed. It's hard to play him. So, while Yana is really the only operator that really has nades nowadays that people play. So, if you are good with frag grenades, please, I, I preach this a lot. Understand the power of frag grenades. Two nades can get you two kills. You and the G3 with the 1.5 is very good. People say, why do you use with Ash? Why do you use the G3 over the R4C? I tell them all the time, it's because of the 1.5 side. And they're like, well, why? What does that make? Why is the 1.5 side so, so good? And then I try to explain to them that the 1.5 site is zoomed in to the point perfectly. 1.5 site is one of the best sites. I think it is the best site in the game, in my opinion. Maybe pre nerf ACOG was actually the best. I'm not really sure. Obviously, I'm not an R6 analyst. I don't really know the statistics, but I know the 1.5 site is very popular for a good reason. Um, now, when attacking Trophy Statue, um, I do this all the time, um, you're going to want to go below. Here's why. Let's say I have a drone downstairs. I do this all the time. Let's say I leave it on the stairs. There's a guy in Astro. Me as an attacker, I usually pre-place a drone downstairs or I have a teammate to sit on a drone downstairs. If it's clear, I take it, right? If it's not, whatever. I try to take the gunfight, kill him, then made. But if it's all clear, right, my teammate says it's all clear. Kitchen's clear still, someone has a drone bound down on stairs 90. I take it and I get right here. The reason why I get right here is because a nade on this is very, very common at this time. Also, you can nade in bathroom. Very popular position is right here. Now, you cannot nade this little thing, but you can nade right here. This is the most played area in bathroom. Understanding where this is is very important. I was going to nade Astro, but understanding that this is one of the most important nade positions in Siege. If you are downstairs with a grenade, 
understand. You can cook. You can grenade right there. Now, that was not very good. It was my first nade of the day. But, that blew up right where the average position is. I'm going to show you guys exactly where that blew up. Um, that's a free kill if you time it correctly. Now, obviously, that first nade wouldn't have killed anybody. The second nade would have. Now, timing grenades is very important in Siege. Because, if you nade this exact location... You will kill the person that plays right here. Now, if they are super far up, you can shoot their toes from drone hole on the rappel. If they're right here, this is the normal spot to play. People don't play too far back in here purely because it's um, not really a good angle for a gun, but if you're here, you're able to take the guy that jumps in. If you're here, it's harder to kill him. So here is where most people play. That is exactly where your need is. This will resolve the end of the video. Psych. One more thing. Join the Discord. Join, join, join. The link is in the bio. It's an infinite link. There is no, like, expiration date. If there is an expi if it expired, let me know in the comments. I think it is. It shouldn't be. It should be alright. Um, anyways, like if you enjoyed this video. If I missed anything you want me to do any other videos, you can comment or you can join the Discord. I have a tab in my Discord to recommend me video ideas or anything like games to play, stuff like that. If you have any recommendations, you can go to my Discord and you can talk to me there. I'm, um, I'm there, like, I think every night. I'm, I'm on my Discord looking at the notifications, so... If you have anything, if you want to talk to me live, you can. Um, peace. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. We're on the road to 10K this year. That's our goal. Let's hope we can hit it. We, we can, actually. You know, we are going to. We are going to. We're posting every day daily videos. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace. Actually, before I, before I leave, I keep fucking with y'all and thinking I'm going to leave. But, what do y'all think about this ranked season? Uh, I feel like it's very easy for people to get champ, and that's kind of stupid. Um, that's my opinion. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Peace.